All right, let's do a uh, little idle video. A lot of people think tend to think that this car would be noisy just because of the way the bumper exit is, but the uh, the turbo actually muffles it a lot, so you don't get any kind of crazy V8 raspy shit coming out. It's very tame, all things considered. So, as you can tell, I mean, it's pretty fucking quiet. It's no different than maybe like a, uh, your standard like Silverado or Dodge Ram truck you would see out and about, or here, you know what I mean? Firing up next door at the neighbor's house. show you what I was talking about so we uh, we did switch tuners we went uh, back to Palm Beach Dino uh, I was tuned by Cy Lee out of Florida and uh, Palm Beach had done my tune when I was all motor back in the day uh, they did great stuff I heard good things about I heard good things about Cy Lee when it came to the on three turbo kits though so I went with him uh, car drove great we got it dialed in. I did have an issue with it stalling out when I would come to like red lights and shit, which we never got resolved. Uh, I don't know what the cause was. Um, I went back to Palm Beach Dino and we're currently reviewing. There goes the fans and the car didn't die. So perfect example, uh, we're back on Palm Beach Dino revisions. And as you can see, the car's not dying out when the fans came on. So, uh, we did do a little log. The car drives great right now. It's running really good. It actually feels better than Siley's too. Um, but it's pulling three degrees of timing at watt. So we're getting knocked somewhere. So we're getting knocked somewhere and I think it's from this. That coolant pipe right here goes over to here. That coolant pipe is digging into the back of the turbo house. Right there. Like it's literally digging into it. So, you know, metal on metal contact is not good during walk. Uh, and can cause false knock. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're either gonna cut this right here and shift it because it can shift over, or I'll get a piece of uh, heater hose and we'll just run a straight hose, and then that way it'll eliminate eliminate the uh, metal on metal contact. We'll swap in some fresh plugs this weekend and we'll uh, get the logs again and see what happens. Hopefully that'll clean it up. But uh, yeah, that's the update on the pile of shit here. I can't, I love driving this fucking thing. 